I'm going to go ahead and echo a sentiment that you guys would have just previously heard during the Andrew Tate video that I put out just before this one. I am here. 2023 is going to be the year of truth, honesty, and backing up guys who have good messages and who genuinely want the best for society. And I think, and I've said multiple different occasions, Jordan Peterson is definitely one of those guys. Now, I've also got to acknowledge the facts. At least me personally, I think 2022... Not a very good year for Peterson, okay? I still think his fundamentals are excellent, okay? And him shacking up with those Daily Wire dudes, okay? Those trad cons that are out there. It's kind of uh, negatively affected his worldview on a multitude of different things. He started to speak up a whole hell of a lot more on topics that aren't exactly Peterson's strong suit, okay? His entire series on marriage and relationships, and that's always been the area that I've thought he was significantly lacking. And to be fair, okay, he has better points than some people, but trying to take dating advice from a guy who's been off the market since the 70s, for Christ's sakes, like, it's just a losing proposition, okay? He has no idea what the current marketplace is like, and I, I can really do without just outdated old order ideas of how relationships is, should be, and then throw on that later layer of Daily Wire tradconness, and it's like, it's totally fucking out of date. Nobody needs that kind of stuff, okay? It's worthless fucking material. And uh, throw on top, okay, his abject silence during all the Tate cancellation stuff. Given the fact that, you know, his uh, dearly beloved daughter has quite a relationship with, I find that a little bit sus as well. And then, to cap everything off, right towards the end of the year, him out there fighting ghosts in the form of anonymous Twitter accounts, it's like, it was not a very good year for him, all things considered. But when he starts to delve into the culture war stuff, you know, the societal issues, there are very few people better to espouse on it, okay? So... When I see something like this, given the fact that 2022, I kind of took a step back, okay? I'm not quite that big of a Jordan Peterson fan anymore. I think that he's, he's, he's been shaky lately, but when the Ontario College of Psychologists, okay, his personal bread and butter, threatens Peterson uh, for a mandatory social media retraining, bro, there's no way in hell anybody could, with a good mind, with a good mind, I would say, advocate for this stuff and... Jordan Peterson, given the fact that he is a clinical psychologist, he's got the degrees, he's been to the places, he's taught at fucking Harvard, for Christ's sakes, he was a tenured professor until he stepped down at Toronto University. Like, he's he's been in the trenches plying his trade. But the, uh, the College of Psychologists from the uh, Tommy province of Ontario wants to step in and try to fuck around with his licensing? Yeah, no, I don't fucking think so. Over some social media posts? Not even egregious social media posts because you guys remember he was suspended under the old regime at twitter for uh, misgendering you know what's her fucking name it used to be juno um elliot page and there we go and then also running a foul calling you know whales on the cover of sports illustrated's uh, swimsuit magazines fucking whales it's like come on now he's keeping it a buck now if he would have kept that same energy throughout the year might have you know might have been following him a little bit more closely anyways Canadian professor and psychologist Dr. Jordan B. Peterson is under fire from the Ontario College of Psychologists to submit to mandatory social media communication retraining with their experts. Brainwashing. That's all that they want. Listen, you're not towing the leftist progressivist line. You have the largest megaphone. You are arguably the most famous living psychologist. I don't even know who would be close at this point. You're not towing the feminist line as closely as we'd like you to, even though I'd argue some of his takes on relationship is just a different color of feminis feminism, but you're not doing exactly what we say. You're not do you're not being a good leftist, and Peterson is not a leftist, not even close. Why would they think? Why would they think the guy who cut his teeth made his name off the fact that I will not use your gendered pronouns. I will not do it. You will not compel me to say those words. You can throw me in jail. I will go on a hunger strike and I will not do it. That was back in 2017, back when he was real cutting edge and was definitely a voice in the world that people needed because everything was going to shit at that time and nobody wanted to keep it real. This for, among other crimes, retweeting conservative leader Pierre Polivier. He retweeted the leader 
of a fucking political party. Uh, not a fringe, the official opposition. Hmm, this is the exact same shit that would come up whenever anybody would come out as a Trump supporter way back in 2016. Canada is just 10 years behind the United States at all fucking points in time. And criticizing Prime Minister Justin Trudeau along with his allies. See, you have to toe the line. That's why I'm getting the fuck out of this place. This place is fucked, okay? College requires that Peterson commit to the following undertaking to work with either Dr. Erica Abner, LLM, I, I don't know what all of that shit means. I don't know what PhD means, I don't care. Or Gail Siskind, oh great, uh, registered nurse, ding, or MA, I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, to review, reflect on, and ameliorate professionalism in public statements. Now that's interesting, is he posting as a clinical psychologist, or is he posting as Jordan Peterson? Hmm, because it seems like you guys, personally... Uh, the College of uh, Psychologists is kind of overstepping their boundaries, I would say, because what, what institution is he representing by putting himself out there? And what does that have to do with anything uh, regarding you guys? Couple that with their desire to have him complete the coaching program within six months of receiving uh, the I icrc decision in the matter noting that the program would be extended at the discretion of the coach great uh peterson would be made to pay for these required services as well at an hourly rate of 225 dollars get fucked royally just because he has some quasi spicy takes on some certain things like nah man he ain't even doing this not even close I have absolutely refused to do so, Peterson said. His response to the college was, in part, that he does not regret anything he's done or said that the subject of the complaint to the college and that the college has no right to interfere with his free speech rights. Exactly. Like, there's a... You can't even, in good faith, you know, extrapolate it out to him representing the Ontario College of Psychologists in any of his social media posts. I don't think that's in his bio. I don't think that he um, acts as an agent in it. Any, acts as an agent for them in any specific capacity, like, outside of being accredited by, um, I don't see it. I really don't see it. Okay. Peterson broke the news of the college's demand on Twitter, saying that he had been accused of the governing body uh, uh, for psychologists and psychology associates in the province of Ontario of harming people, despite the fact that none of the people making the complaints were current or past clients or were even acquainted with his clients. I guess in the grand scheme of things, like Pierre Polivier and then uh, Justin Trudeau are uh, gigantic figures in Canadian politics, so I guess by just their attached, given the fact that they're the two main political parties that are out there but that is even that's that's such a stretch in and of itself what the college uh was oh, what the college has demanded sorry peterson said is to undergo this training including the submitting of reports documenting his progress oh great how well is the brainwashing taking or to be subject to an in-person tribunal oh boy and the suspension of his right to operate as a licensed clinical psychologist Yep, there it is. They just want his credentials, okay? Because that's what these motherfuckers are all about. It's all about credentialism. These are the same people that said, Trust the experts. What are you arguing against the science, bro? Intrinsically. All the people that want this type of training pushed out there and then just want to take away his accreditation, it doesn't take away any of his knowledge. He still knows all the shit regarding his clinical practice, everything that he studied in order to get his PhD. All it does is just take away a couple of letters at the end of the day. Oh, he, he can't ethically use the doctor uh, title uh, anymore oh my god then he'd have to go uh, go around and parade himself as a doctor and the light is similar to that of jill biden oh my god god forbid you guys do that but it's funny right these guys are supposed to be in charge of the experts these guys are on the cutting edge of science they're the ones who are regulating the entire social science field of psychology and psychopathy but you're only an expert and you're only credible in the eyes of this organization if you parrot all their talking points very, very, very interesting. Those who complained that Peterson was harming people, he said, were comprised of about a dozen people from all over the world who submitted complaints about Peterson's public statements. Uh, these 
uh, were statements made on Twitter and during appearances on such podcasts as the Joe Rogan Experience. Of course, of course, right? A handful of people causing all of these problems from an entity that was more than willing to take these drastic actions. Because, uh, let's be fucking honest, they were just waiting for an opportunity to try to revoke his credentials, okay? You're not a real doctor anymore. No, it's because these commie organizations had the opportunity to just go ahead and swipe that out from underneath of them dur by using any sort of fucking ethic loopholes that they can possibly think of like we know exactly what you guys are fucking doing just stop it the complaints uh who submitted their grievance over a four-year period a dozen people four-year period good stuff and you should get you should get those numbers up and it also speaks to how popular he was over the past four years anyways uh did not claim that the person uh, that they personally were harmed by peterson's remarks but again virtue signaling assholes his comments could definitely lead to the extermination of trans people and pe and bipoc people fuck off uh, but the harm had come to others as a result of Peterson's expressed views. Yeah, there you go. The good people in this one just filing false claims. Well, I personally wasn't hurt or anything like that, but it's fine. The college has a code of ethics. Has referenced, there it is, da, 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 in a document obtained by the Post Millennial, which applies to all members, which states that personal behavior becomes a concern of discipline only if it is such a nature that it undermines public trust in the discipline as a whole nor it raises questions about the psychologist's ability to carry out appropriately his or her responsibilities as a psychologist. Nice and fucking vague. If we can take offense to it, we can make it fit. Additional... Oh, standards of the code read that respect for the dignity of a person's is the most fundamental and universally found ethical principle across disciplines and includes the concept of equal inherent worth, non-discrimination, moral rights, and other commie fucking nonsense. Oh, and uh, distributive social and natural justice. What does that have to do with psychology and the study of the human mind through scientific principles? What does that have to do with any of that? No, you just need to go out there and just be a rabid SJW just go ahead and fucking apologize for being white, hate yourself for being a man, and you'll totally be fine on this one. Or maybe you should just pass your credentials off to a fucking black lesbian double, or double amputee. Fuck off. In respecting dignity, psychologists acknowledge that they uh, that each human being should be treated primarily as a person on, or an end in him or herself. Why are we talking about? Not as an object or a means to an end and as and is worthy of equal moral consideration. Oh, so I guess it's even intrinsically baked in there that men and women are not different. In fact, the blank slate reigns supreme. Very interesting. Good work up here in Canada. Yuck, this fucking place. In doing so, the standard continues, psychologists acknowledge that all human beings have a moral right to have their innate worth as human beings appreciated. So you don't actually want to solve any problems that are down there, okay? If you can't address certain things, if it makes your, if it makes your clients feel uncomfortable, you would theoretically violate these ethics concerns that are out there. Everybody deserves to feel appreciated. And it's like, but you have a severe psychotic issue okay you're schizophrenic okay so one of your personalities takes offense to some of my diagnostic techniques okay cool you can end up losing you, at worst losing your credentials or at best going in front of this witch hunt but oh, let's just wrap this up and uh is an inherent worth is not dependent on a human being's culture nationality ethnicity just, yeah don't be a racist or a bigot or anything like that fuck off ethnicity color race religion sex gender marital status um well, if you're dealing with certain things, maybe a marital status might be a problem with some of that stuff. Sexual orientation, see above. Physical or mental abilities, age, socioeconomics. What, if you're too poor to pay the bill that you can get put in front of an ethics commission? What the fuck are you doing? Or any other preference or personal characteristic condition or status. Holy fuck. As such, psychologists do not engage in unjust discrimination based on such factors and promote non-discrimination in any of their activities. Peterson tweeted out a call for Trudeau's resignation in late uh, December of 2022. So what is the Ontario Council of uh, Psychologists saying right here? He's picking on a retarded kid? Is, is that what they're trying to extrapolate here? He also claimed that Trudeau appears to be perpetually 14 years old. Oh, he is making fun of him for being retarded. I like him even more. Peterson notes that he's been under continuous investigation by the college beginning in 2017. That makes sense. This is when Peterson first began speaking out against compelled speech for preferred pronouns, wherein a person can dictate how others can be referred to and force them to use certain words, which is now signed into law. Bill C-11.
Uh, there's so many terrible bills that are going around Canada right now, it's tough to keep them all straight. Peterson took to YouTube to express his concerns. Yes, the video's been received yeah, exceedingly well all these years later. And if you want to read the rest of his history and everything that he's done recently, you can go ahead and do that. But we've also got his statement that is going to be run in the National Post tomorrow. And apparently, it's going to be right on the front page. It's going to be front page news tomorrow, everybody. I'll only read a little bit of this. It says that it's a nine-minute read, but there's a lot of stuff in there. I'm a good reader and all that stuff but you know it's a long boy and it just kind of rehashes a bunch of different stuff he likes to meander sometimes and he does that i don't know if there's a fucking word count in order to make it to the front page but lord have mercy there's some fluff in the motherfucker i read through all of it it's pretty good it's pretty decent but you know what hey man it's worth covering i will risk my license to escape social media re-education my man my man i do appreciate that right now so we already went over all the background need not retread that stuff that's what i was talking about for my crimes i've been sentenced to a course of mandatory social media communications training with the college's so-called experts although social media communications training is not a scientific and certainly not a clinical speciality of any standing i am uh to do this at my own expense some hundreds of dollars per hour to 25 to be precise and for a length of time is so to be determined by only those retraining me and profiting from doing so seems a bit corrupt now doesn't it and how will this be determined by the very re-educator those experts who have convinced themselves that i've learned my lesson and will behave properly in the future hey how much do you want to spend on your gilded cage just asking if I agree to this, then I must admit that I have been unprofessional in my conduct. Should I also point out the steps already taken constitute the second most serious possible response to my transgression on the part of the college. So yeah, if he bends now and does this, it's just going to signal that, oh yeah, he does have a breaking point. And if they ever want him to um, adhere to their talking points, all they need to do is just push him up to this point. It's something that I reference often. And I think that it's some of the best work that Jordan Peterson ever did. It was either during the first or second Joe Rogan interview where he was describing how leftists march on conservatives and conservatives are terrible at holding on to their own values. How the leftists will just come right up to them to a point, okay? If it's two people standing metaphorically in a field, okay, you got the conservative holding their ground and then the leftist encroaching on them until the point where the conservative says stop and then the leftist takes two steps back and then just waits and continues to encroach and then the conservative backs up into a point where he says stop and then that pro that process continues all the way until the conservatives at the edge of a cliff and then they just wonder oh what happened how did we get to this point one step at a time same thing with the old boiling frog analogy, okay? If you drop a frog into a pot of boiling water, he's going to jump right out. But if you acclimatize him to that situation, you just turn it up one degree at a time, you will eventually cook the frog. It's all about the delivery. The message really doesn't have anything to do with it. So what exactly have I done that is so seriously unprofessional that I am now a danger not only to new potential clients, but to the public itself? It is hard to tell uh, with some of the complaints. So one involved the submission of the entire transcript of a three-hour dis discussion on the Joe Rogan podcast. Which one? Hasn't he been on the show like a half dozen times? Like, Christ almighty. Oh, he said fuck once, and that was hilarious because it's always funny to hear Kermit the Frog go, oh, fuck! Uh, but here are some examples that might produce some reasonable concerns among Canadians who care uh, about such niceties as freedom of belief, conscious, and speech. Things that are oddly carved out of the charter of human rights and freedoms that was signed into law in 1984 82 no it was 1984 sorry if it's one of those you know dumb bimbo moment my mistake it's not all that important really more or less i just wanted to get to the point that that entire thing was all drawn up and there were certain things wanting to be taken out of it and it would not have been confederized that's the proper terminology by all of the different heads of the different provinces had not been for them but um justin trudeau's father pierre trudeau presided over that and that's one of his uh, uh glowing accomplishments that and also illegally enacting the emergencies act like father like son but anyways these are apparently some of the things that uh, the good doctor at least for the time being has done that is just so detrimental to the public discourse among psychologists Retweeting a comment made by conservative leader Pierre Polivier about the unnecessary severity of the COVID lockdowns, very detrimental to the public discourse. Criticized Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Uh, criticized 
Uh, Justin Trudeau's former chief of staff, Gerald Butts, I hope it had something to do with his hilarious surname, criticized an Ontario city councillor and uh, made a joke about the prime minister of Jacinda, oh, of New Zealand, Jacinda Ardern. Oh, did he repost that meme where she looks, you know, she's not like a four college chick. And then at the end, she kind of looks something that Andy Serkis would have to perform via mocap for a Peter Jackson film. It's kind of funny. It's very fucking funny, actually. But all of those people, at least the ones that he's referencing right there um are public figures very much so i'm just saying i did all that disrespectfully by the way in a horrific manner by spreading misinformation i you know shout out to jordan for writing this stuff this way by scare quoting everything that's just absolutely absurd things that i would normally point out and hey man like i said i hold i hold dr peterson in very high regard and he definitely taught me a thing or two when it comes to this stuff right here pointing out all the absurdity of how all of this coded language is out there and then people like to poison the well beforehand yeah man shout out for doing this okay yeah so disrespectfully by the way in a horrific manner that spread misinformation that was threatening and harassing that was embarrassing to the profession i am also uh, these are separate offenses sexist transphobic incapable of the requisite body positivity in a relationship to morbid obesity oh somebody got triggered about him calling out whales in sports illustrated magazine well to be fair she's fat uh unforgivably of all a climate change denialist yeah i think he also dunked on greta thunberg fbi open up Every single one of these accusations and now accepted evidence of my professional misconduct is independence of my clinical practice, which, by the way, has been suspended since 2017. Y yeah, when he started to really launch off and then started a speaking tour around the entire fucking globe. I knew that. Chances are, if you clicked on this video, you also knew that. But all the people reporting him from being a hateful bigot didn't know that they just seen doctor and thought that he also had a brick and mortar fucking strip mall shop doesn't work that way my guy every single accusation is not only independent of my clinical practice but explicitly or explicitly political hmm seems to be a through line right there hmm pissing people off when it comes to political takes how novel of a situation you find yourself in right there simply uh simply to oh i'm simply too classically liberal Jesus Christ, are your takes and your positions still back in 2017? Or even a more unforgivably conservative? Yes, exactly. And that's the point about all this stuff. You are not allowed to be publicly conservative in today's day and age. And what it means to be conservative in today's day and age? Oh boy, that's loaded terminology. I know a lot of people want to find a, a new term that's out there, but I don't really care that much for terms because the terms are kind of gay when it comes to uh, defining whatever people are. Classically liberal, what the fuck does that mean? Somebody who tunes in and listens to Dave Rubin rant and rave about shitty people that he thinks used to be based, but in the grand scheme of things weren't really back in the cut. If you agree with him, you're a classical liberal. Okay. Or if you're conservative, do you line up in the same camp as Ben Shapiro, uh, Matt's, or not Matt Smith, the fuck's that, the beardy, deep-talking fruit that hates anime and has bad takes about everything. Matt Walsh? Is that his name? <laughs> Anybody who has the surname Walsh is just a total fucking tard. But if I am to label myself conservative, um, nobody would confuse me for anybody inside the Daily Wire crew. And while I think Peterson fits better with them he's got some other takes that um if somebody would just prompt him in the correct direction he would also break uh, break ranks with them as well so to call him a conservative isn't quite exactly accurate and to just have a couple of different labels for these people isn't fair either when it comes to leftists man don't give a fuck about your branding okay it, just take a look at what's going on right now in the house of representatives okay they can't they can't figure out who's going to be the speaker kevin mccarthy oh you guys just look bad right now and he just continues to be like i just want to go ahead and i just want to send more money over to ukraine why don't you guys just vote for me hmm, interesting it's an optics battle they get you they get you bogged down in these stupid fucking problems and never actually address the root cause of all this stuff people trying to come for jordan peterson's licenses all of his credentials they know that they don't have a tenable position these are the same people we need to have a conversation about insert hot button topic okay you're gonna have the conversation and then you don't want to show up and then uh, guys like peterson will opine on the topic and then you guys will just say well we don't like that part of it and we're just gonna cancel you for doing as much 
it has nothing to do to get to the bottom of any issue that's out there. You just understand that your position is the bad position. And when people expose you for having that bad position, hmm, you're not going to reform any of your thoughts, none of your talking points. You know what you're going to do? Just get rid of the other side of the argument. Get rid of that so that your opinion is the only one left, even if it is a bad one. So once again, hey man, here we are five years later. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Jordan Peterson fighting for freedom of speech. And while not quite of a, um, not quite the same vociferous supporter that I was back in the cut, he's, he's got nothing but support on this one because I don't see any other position to take other than the fact that this dude spends way too much fucking time on Twitter. That's totally 1000% in his purview. He has every right to do as much and he has my unremittent support. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.